please stand for the angels. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ears to me, hear my words. Guard me as the apple of your eye. In the shadow of your wings protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the Gospel today, Jesus asks us to forgive not only see seven times or seventy seven times but always to have a, a forgiveness heart because if you don't forgive and also God will not forgive us if we want the forgiveness from God we have to forgive first brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries I confess to Almighty God and to you, my to brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace not forsake me, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service, and at all times obtain for us your help. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
we ask you to receive us with humble and contrite hearts. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood, stood up in the fire and prayed aloud. For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us. For the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promise to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sun on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought law everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you, but with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercy, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me. Because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus, he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Please stand to honor the gospel. Verse before the gospel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, you O Lord. Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be like, likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he, can, he had no way to pay it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, 
the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant, let him go and forgive him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants, who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to chuck him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master smiled him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgive you your entire debt because you begged me. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Uh, for forgiveness, I think for us sometimes it's a little difficult to forgive, especially those who are around us, those who are very close to us, uh, they did something wrong to us. Not easy to forgive uh, because it's not easy to understand. My friend, my family members, they do or something we cannot really understand. It's not maybe out of our human beings' understanding. So that's why here Peter asked Jesus how many times, how often, seven times is enough. But Jesus said 70, seven times. Not only say count the times, but to say always to forgive. Then he gave us a story. The king with his servants. The first one, huge amount. Then he cannot afford, he cannot pay back. Then he forgive him. But when this servant went home, see the other, his fellow servant owned his only a small amount. But he did not uh, have that compassionate heart. Then put him in prison. So we see, when we hear the story, oh, we don't understand these people. How can you, you, you had a big amount of debt, then your master forgive you. Then you don't forgive you only a little small amount. Or as a human being, we can easily to see or criti criticize to the others. We don't know this first servant, what he's thinking, how he thinking about that. He his master forgave him a big amount of debt, but for his fellow servant, even a small amount, he doesn't want to forgive. So we say it's unfair. How can be? That's why, that's why the other servants, they were deeply disturbed also. Then they report to the master. So in our life also, many times we see, we can easily to see how we practice the forgiveness, or we are easily to ask God to forgive us. Maybe just like the first servant, maybe the big debt, or big something, mistakes, or big fault, or something maybe really serious. But for the others, do something wrong to us, or mistakes, or something maybe we cannot understand, or we are difficult to understand. Or we don't want to try to forgive. So, especially this Lent session, from the beginning, Jesus has already asked us to repent. How we repent. Do something looks like against the, our human being's nature. Our forgive is also actually not easy. Not the human being's nature. Uh, do something, deny ourselves. Or through those things we cannot really to do, 
the forgiveness, especially those there around us. Or maybe we can through this special time, God give us more blessings and graces, wants us to return to Him, wants us to repent. So let, let, let us can through this forgive to try to practice the forgiveness, especially those our family members, those they are around us, those we are difficult to forgive. So even we cannot forgive all, at least we can start in, try to start the forgive, to practice the forgiveness, of course, with God's mercy, with God's help, with God's guidance. Only with our human beings' nature, we might be difficult, but let us to try. Here, Jesus, not only say once or twice, always have the forgiveness heart, the humble heart, the lovely heart to treat the others. Then, of course, the same way God will do to us. Then we forgive the others. God will easy to forgive us. We will treat the others good. Then God will also treat us the same way. Whatever we, we treat to the others, same stand, same measurement to us. So I hope you can through the, the readings. We know God is always merciful to us. Remember your mercy, O Lord. He's always kind to us. Want us, everyone to be saved. He showed us a good example. Let us just only follow to practice. Amen. Please arise. Let us pray to God that we, his people, who have experienced his forgiveness, may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. Let our response be, Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. That the church, set free by the blood of Christ, may live in harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. That Christian churches may be brought together in the unity of the one gospel of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. That married couples may learn to forgive and understand one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. That all of us may learn the mercy of Jesus and forgive one another from the heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. That the faithful departed may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. That those who seek public office be guided by genuine fear of God and love of neighbors for the welfare of the common good, we pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. That there be honest, orderly, and peaceful election, free from corruption, intimidation, violence, terrorism, deception, bribery, and fraud, we pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. That the integrity of the electoral process be upheld, human dignity be respected, and the poor and the weak be prioritized, we pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Through the consecration of Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, may God grant peace for all countries and unity among nations, we pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. For the urgent concerns of the community, the online prayer requests, the intentions offered in this Mass, and our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Heavenly Father, sustain us always with your love and mercy, and help us to offer forgiveness to the others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Eastern. Pray, brethren and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the mighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for, for the praise and, and glory of his name, name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation, pleasing to your almighty power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord of God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every, everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, for through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards. Through Christ our Lord, through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew folk, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper Sunday, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the foolish of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose Cardinal de Vencula, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, especially here 
and also during this Mass, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, whom also is a spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially St. Jude Deus, with Anna de Anson, Joseph Fray Nunmans, Pedro Caruso, Espiti Martius, Blessed Maria Helena and Josepha, Chinese Martius, the 14 Holy Helpers, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we will merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and the form of divine that. teaching, we dare to say... Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your power souls, Peace I leave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Behold, this is Jesus Christ, our Savior. He is always among us. He is the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes with the things of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion, we pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Announcement On Friday, March 25, 2020, Solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord, we will have an additional Holy Mass at 12 noon. We will also join the Holy Father in the consecration of Russia and Ukraine to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Everyone is encouraged to attend. Let us fervently offer our prayers and sacrifices for the violence to stop and for the voices of peace to be heard. Thank you and God bless us all. We invite our prayer warriors, candlelight devotees, St. Jude devotees, and parishioners to attend our parish Lenten recollection on April 2, 2022, Saturday at 8 a.m. until 11 a.m. Registration will start at 7.30 a.m. Recollection speaker is Reverend Father Roland U. Aquino, SVD. Thank you and God bless us. Lord, who may Please abide stand. in your tent and dwell on your holy mountain, whoever works without fault and does what is just, let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray and grant us both pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray the Eratio Imperata against the COVID-19 virus. Merciful and compassionate Father, we com confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body. Strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for, for each, each other, other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. The 14 Holy Helpers. Pray for us. St. Jude Tadeus. Pray for us. We pray the prayer of St. Gertrude. Prayer for the souls in purgatory. Eternal, Eternal Father, we, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your, of your divine, divine Son, Jesus, Jesus, in union with, with the masses offered throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners here in the virtual church, those, those in, in our homes and, and in our, our families. families. In Jesus' in name, name, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O God, founder and ruler of your people, drive away the sins that assailed them.
that they may always be pleasing to you and ever safe under your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.